Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a login page inside Microsoft Access application or uh, software and uh, this login page has to be full screen and non-editable. Now if you're looking to create a database for a production or for your, uh, any customers so you must include these features which should be non-editable they shouldn't have access to your options and it should be full screen and it should have a login page inside your that database now if you're looking for such a project i promise you till the end of this video you will learn each one of them and you can create your own login pages very easily now the first step to create this would be you know, opening your Microsoft Access and then you have to choose a database name for that so I'm just going to choose login and uh, I'm not going to work with your tables queries and macros or whatever which you have I'm just going directly uh, to the main point which is about to create your login page or your uh, main page so here we go I'm just going to click on the form design and then uh, you have to go to the design tab and you just have to create two basic text boxes so here we go the first one and the second one now I also need a button so the, here we go I'm just going to click this button here so I'm not going to use these uh, features I'm just going to name it as login and uh, this one is going to be my username and uh, this one is going to be my password now for the user I'm clicking on this and I have a, a tab here by name of data and for the data you have to select the default value now the default value for this would be admin now most of the databases has its own username and uh, in this case you can choose uh, data sorry so the first step is that you have to click on design and then go to the property sheet and then from the data sheet uh, from the property sheet you have to go to the data and then you have to give a default value for your text box now this text box has a name of text zero and the second thing which you are going to do is that we are going to turn on the log feature for this which means that you cannot enter or uh, you cannot change this name at all now for the next one we have to select this and go to the data now as you can see the name has been changed text 0 which means this is text 0 and this is text 2 now for the text 2 I'm going to add an input mask now the input mask for this would be password next and finish now let's go and have a check if I write something now other users won't guess what you are typing because it's now showing us as a password okay we have done this now this next step is that you need to create another text box as well now it doesn't matter where you are creating this because this is going to be invisible for the users but only you are going to use it on the background now uh, default value now you have to set a password whatever password you like you can type it inside here and it's safe because no one can see this so I have given a password of one, two, three, four, and five, and then go back to the uh, format, and then just make sure that you have uh, selected the no option for the visible, which means that it's not visible for the other users on the screen. Very good. Now you have to go to the uh, your button, and then you have to go to the property sheet on the event tab and we have an option here by name of on click and just click here on three dots and then select your code builder now we are going to use Microsoft Visual Basic uh, codes for this login page and just before that just before that you have to know your text box names so the text box which I have it here is text2 and the text box which I have stored my password is uh, text5 so 
let's go back to the Visual Basic code. So now I'm just going to uh, write uh, if statement code here. So I'm just going to write if me dot text to text to is the place where we are going to type our passwords. If me dot text to dot uh, value is equal to it means that if we type the password and check it with the me dot text 5 dot default value then now this statement means that if our text 2 uh, and if our text 5 are both the same which is 1 2 3 4 5 then what is going to happen now what we are going to do is that we are just going to drag it a little bit down and then we are going to create a text box here sorry a label this is not text box it's a label and uh, let's see what's the name for this label label save one now if the password is correct now you can give a message here me dot label seven dot caption now we are going to change the caption for this which is going to be uh, done else in other case then uh, we should get a message on level seven which should be in correct password and then you make sure that you are uh, just ending your F statement. Now, let's go back and just check this. If you write admin, and if you write one, two, three, four, now this will give you a message of incorrect password. If you add five, then this will give you a password, sorry, a level of then, which means that we have typed our password successfully. Now, we are done with this. Now we are going to save this by name of login and uh, you just have to close this and go back and create another forum design. Now what we are going to do that is that if we just uh, typed our password uh, correctly then this page should be opened automatically which is your main page otherwise if you type your password incorrectly so the system shouldn't allow us to access this page. Now I'm just going to give a label which is about dashboard or uh, school database or whatever you are working on project and then I'm just going to increase its font size and just going to give a color of black and uh, this is looking so terrific okay uh, I'm just going to make it as bold and whatever design you like so you have to save this as well and this is going to be our main page okay now we have two forms main page and login page now uh, for these two forms you have to make sure that you are applying these changes the first changes is that you have to make sure that you are going to the property sheet and you are selecting the form and then you have to go to the all and just scroll up here and you have to choose the pop-up to yes okay this is the settings that will help us to show our this screen uh, full screen without any other options and then you have to also change these options the size of well has to be none and the authority size has to be none fit on screens yes okay there's no problem record selectors navigation buttons these both have to be not present uh, we shouldn't have access to the scroll bars control box no close button no minimum and maximum buttons no movable no uh, and uh, the rest we don't have any problem with it so save this and uh, go back to your login page now for the login page we are going to do the same things so here we go the pop-up is yes and the rest for view allow for view yes that I should view that view no and then what we have is that auto resize no fit on screen 
and uh, border style none the card selectors navig divide uh, control box no neither no so we are just turning off all these options and uh, we don't have any problem with others and the next thing is that you have to go to the file options and for the current database you have to choose your login and then you have to select overlapping windows and for restricting your users from the options you also have to uh, uh, just untick allow full menus with allow default shortcut menus okay and okay now save this as well and uh, you should also include two quite or uh, two quite application buttons for your both pages the first one and the second one because if you are not going to add sorry this is okay I'm just going to close this yes close yes okay now for the login we are going to we have already added this now for the main page we are also going to add uh, the same button which helps us to quite our application okay and now let's go back to our design page and select your login property sheet event and just go back to your code now uh, instead of showing us the done notification we should be able to go to our next page now to do this you can write do cmd dot maximize sorry so sorry do cmd dot open form and then you can write your form name now our form name is login now you can just press comma and then you can select ac normal which means that show this page as normal now uh, the first one is login page which we are currently on it and the next one sorry this should be main page because we are in login page now if we write your password then this should help us to go to the main page and the next thing is that uh, on the form you have to write on the current this code do cmd dot maximize now the same thing we need to do for the main page as well okay select form and go to the on current and just select code builder and just copy this do simply dot maximize save this and uh, save this as well now just close your application and go to your documents so we have my name of login so now just enable your content so you can see now this is a full screen database and if you just write your password incorrectly it will give you a warning or a message of incorrect password but instead if you type your password correctly it will just lead you to go to your main page and then you don't have any op any access to these options and you just can quite your application now this is how you can create your full screen login page in microsoft access so if you like this video so please don't forget to subscribe this channel for more interesting and helpful videos thank you so much